we all know about the anti I mean the Antichrist, right? I, I mean to us, right, all you hear is about the Antichrist. Yeah. Antichrist this, Antichrist that, Antichrist this, right? right? But in our opinion, there's a person far not far worse, but more lethal. Let's get him warmed up. We want to get him warmed up? Warm you up with the Antichrist before we get to the... Before we do the smackdown. Then the smackdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, he will rise up um, and be given authority and power from Satan himself. And the scholars, again, believe, again, this is where we're just going to quote you the most popular scholastic. Right. Is that a word? I don't think Commentary? That. Okay, well, we just made a word up. You guys use it next time. Sporadic, okay? <laughs> Commentary, right? Yeah. Um, is that a lot of them do believe he's going to, will be a politician. Yeah. So that's, if you're looking for the Antichrist, you'll be looking for a political figure to arise. Yeah. And to be honest, there's a lot of crazy political figures we got going on today. <laughs> Not going to say more about that, but, but um, and he basically plays the role of God. I mean, he wants to be God. Yeah. Now. Let's move on to what we really want to talk now about. Now let's talk about what we really want to talk about. Yeah. So he is referred to as the second beast. Right. Right? Right. And also the false prophet. You hear people talking about the Antichrist all yeah. the time, but you rarely hear any about this little silent satanic person. Is that he'll probably be an established, older, Jewish scholar, right. teacher. Right. I mean, you know, he's going to probably have to have some some street cred. So really quick, guys, let us know if you have heard of this second B slash false prophet. We would love to hear your opinion. I mean, what's one of the things that this guy or this, this false prophet is going to do? This dude. Well, okay, dude. <laughs> For all you millennials yeah, out there, right. this dude. Dude, well, I don't think it'll be a girl. It could be a girl. Okay, anyway, so we're getting off subject. Okay, so he's going to have great authority. Yeah. Because Satan's going to have authority over this person. And yes. he is going to do miraculous things where we're going to be like, oh my gosh, this has got to be somebody yeah. big. If you're doing miraculous things, right? Right. He's going to rain fire from the sky. The Christian will be going, okay, well, wow. not anybody can do this. Yeah. So you better know your stuff. Right. So that you know that this is a false prophet. Again, deceiving keywords, you. deceiving, deception, and duped. Yeah. Right? Yep. Duplicitous. Right. The three Ds. Exactly. Deceiving, duplicitous, and duped. Say that fast three times. I can't. All right. So now it's here is where it gets, the plot thickens. Uh-oh. Okay? I thought it was already thick. Well, it's already pretty thick right now. We've laid it on pretty thick, but now it gets really thick. Okay, now I'm okay. out. Okay, so, he will tell the inhabitants of the earth to make an image of the beast, or for the beast. He will put up a big image in the temple. Right. I mean, the holy temple, the city of Jerusalem, which is uh, described in Daniel, I think, as the abomination of desolation. Yeah. I mean, just disgusting to God right. that it would be in the holy temple. Yeah. But how is he going to put an image I know, in I every household? We're trying. What do you guys think? I mean, and, and go ahead. It wasn't even that the fact that he's like going to make us have an image, but I was thinking, well, how is he going to know if I'm bowing down to this image and worshiping this? Right. Image? How is he going to know that? Well, so now the plot even gets thicker. Oh, no. So, oh, no, okay, so. I don't think I can take Okay, it. I know, I know. You guys, we're, we're going to be okay. We're going to get through this, okay? This is the point where you're like hanging in the air. <laughs> <you're just> like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so not only do they force the idol of this Antichrist, but he gives it breath. It says in Revelation that he gives it breath. Now, there are several thoughts to this. Yeah, because God's the only one that can give anything breath. Life. Right, breath, right, okay. So, this master of deceiver. Master of deceiver? Master of deceiver. Master of deception. Is going to have to give you something, give this something. The idol, breath. right. So, you're going to have to think that this thing is alive. So, it's probably going to have to talk or yeah. something. Technology has gone far in advance. Way far. Way far today. So, 
some of the thoughts you had this morning, which was a really good thought. Why don't you tell them? Alexa. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, Alex, I mean, it's, it's. I mean, who would have thought of Alexa, of course, 2000 years ago. Ten years ago, we right. didn't even know about Alexa. There's been a lot of videos like where they say I something know. private and then all of a sudden right. it happens and like Google is listening to what you're saying. In fact, we don't have an Alexa around here, so we're <laughs> safe right now. But you know, you can see yeah. how technology advances and it's like, well, and again, he, he doesn't have the authority to give it breath. Right. That's God's. So it has, so it has to, to right, it has to look like it's yeah. alive and yeah. it has breath. So sure, a robotic something or another that yeah. could be a statue of the beast. Right. Or some scholars also believe that it could be possessed by a demonic force. Yes. So it could communicate somehow, communicate with you somehow. And honestly, if you were to take this item into your home, you are just inviting a demonic force into your house right, right off the bat. Yeah. Don't take the idol. Don't take. Yeah, at all. And I'm sorry to say, guys, but it gets worse. Now, this is how bad. Now, come on. Uh, I am serious. <laughs> this is how bad. We're, this, we've had enough. Already. I'm sorry to rain on your parade, okay. but this is how bad it gets. Okay. You must worship this idol, or it's a mandatory death sentence. Uh, taken right out of the Bible, Revelation 13. Like an Alexa type thing or a robot where you have to check in every day right. and you have to worship it or say a prayer to it or something like that. And if right. you don't, you have the police, whatever the police are at that time, come get you and execute you if you don't worship it. Because I mean, the technology is there or it's yeah. coming there, right? Yeah. And then of course, what everybody is talking about today with the vaccine and the chips and the quantum oh dots and oh my goodness is yes this false prophet will be the one not the antichrist the false prophet to force you to take the mark of the beast and i'm sure everybody knows it's going to be on the forehead or the right hand yeah. you won't be able to buy or you won't be able to sell anything now this is why you need to know your Bible. Yeah. Because we are freaked out right now. I mean, with the, at the time we make this video, the biggest, con, what do you call them, the conspiracy theories and the talk is, is the vaccine was yeah. the mark of the beast and yeah. it's just gone out of control. And we're yeah. just telling everybody, chill. Yeah. I mean, we don't need to do this. We're Christians, yeah. right? Yeah. You don't need to be freaked out because you know if you know your bible the one big thing why we've always said the covid vaccine is not the mark of the beast is the antichrist has not risen to power right. and there is no false prophet which we know of and he hasn't set up idols in your home right and we're not worshiping those idols so of course all of this has to happen yeah. before the mark of the beast yeah that's the false prophet kind of basically about all of what he does but you might be saying well you know what does god think about this right well in chapter 14 the next chapter god has some pretty smack down words do you have a verse I have a verse. yeah read it read it this is 14 9 and 10. and another angel a third followed them saying with a loud voice if anyone worships the beast and its image and receives a mark on his forehand, forehead or on his hand, he also will drink the wine of God's wrath, Wow! poured full strength into the cup of his anger. Now that's, yeah. <laughs> and he will be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So basically it's saying that you know, if you are one of the ones, if you do, take, you know, worship the idol, yeah. take it, take and take the mark. the mark. You're basically denying God, yeah. and you, you'll be in hell eternally. For eternal. For eternal. Yeah. If you guys have any more questions, um, we do have...
have, we've done a lot of videos on this because yeah. it's a popular topic. Yeah. So go to our video or continents videos. They call it continents. I think YouTube does. Um, go in the search bar up at the top and type like Antichrist, end time, something like that. And a lot will come up. And, and I, we really want to reiterate um, that this isn't to scare you yeah. or to worry about yeah. you. I mean, it's going to happen. There's nothing you can do about it yeah. because it's predicted in the Bible. But we as Christians need to be ready and need to know what's going to happen so we know the truth and what you're saying is you don't fall into a conspiracy theory or when this happens there's going to be oh my goodness with covid it was just crazy yeah you know the truth and you're not going to freak out because right. you know this is what's happening yeah and you have jesus you don't need to worry yeah yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up yes Thumbs up. Thumbs up. There you go. If you guys like this, let us know you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe. Join our family. And we will see all of you guys next video. Next video. Bye. Bye. That's not sign language, okay? This is not sign language. He's being like... Uh, <laughs> wow. He's being, yeah. We never want to misresent... I just cannot misrepresent. I just cannot talk this morning. <laughs> misrepresent the scriptures. And I'm the deaf one. Go figure. I'm not supposed to be able you to speak. You right? right? When you I, I <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Kim is profoundly deaf. Okay. So. You can say things behind her back. What? <laughs> okay. Um, he doesn't even know where he is. I do. Just, just be uh, quiet, okay? <laughs>